Good morning. We are pleased to present you in the next following month a few short webinar sessions about relevant international legal and tax topics. The sessions are carried out by our law firm in partnership with yours, business and family advisory. I believe it may be of your interest and, of course, we are available to clarify any question you may have. Thank you very much. Yours Business and Family Advisory specializes in cross-border legal and tax advice for entrepreneurs and families with complex assets. I'm the founding partner. We employ 10 people in Luxembourg and in Belgium. In Portugal, GPAB is our valuable partner on which we base our development. Hi, I'm Luisa. Olivier and I are here today for a short discussion on some interesting points and developments related to special tax regime available for wealthy individuals in Switzerland, UK and Italy. Hello Luisa, I am happy to join with you today. Maybe that we can start with uh, Italy because over the last years, Italy was very active to make foreigners moving there. So first, Italy uh, relied on a kind of non-domicile regime. Uh, with that measure, uh, individuals that want to relocate their tax residency in Italy can opt for a 15 years uh, period for a substitute lump sum taxation equals to uh, 100,000 euros on a yearly basis with reference to all foreign sourced income. There are a few conditions to meet. Uh, by example, not have been uh, an Italian tax resident during at least nine uh, out of 10 years before the relocation in Italy. Okay, uh, so if I understand, if all criteria are met, is it correct to say that in paying a fixed substitute tax, an individual is not taxed in Italy on a large majority of his or her actual non-Italian income or assets? Yes, indeed, Luisa, it's correct. And it is therefore why it's very attractive when you keep uh, an important wealth outside Italy. Okay, and moreover, Italy introduced us from 2019 new tax incentives, incentives, I'm sorry, mainly tax rebates during their first years of residence in Italy, in Italy among others from, for workers, entrepreneurs, sports stars and retired people, correct? Yes, it's correct, and it started from 2017 uh, when in Italy clearly opened new opportunities for tax and wealth planning for uh, high net worth uh, individuals with uh, its resident dom regime. So, but you have, however, to, to bear in mind that um, the tax Italian net dom regime does not cover capital gains uh, on qualified shareholding uh, realized by the taxpayer in the first five year period. A non-dom regime inspired by the well-known UK non-domicile regime. Basically, uh, with this regime under certain conditions, UK residents who have the permanent home outside the UK may not have to pay UK tax on foreign income to the extent they are not remitted into the UK. Yes, indeed, but uh, individual wishing to, to relocate to the UK should remain cautious uh, in view of the uncertainties uh, associated with Brexit. Uh, and it is likely that there will be an increase of taxation uh, in some areas as a means of recouping the cost of COVID-19. It is not yet certain exactly how this will be done, but it could concern a tax increase on capital gains or the inheritance tax. A parliamentary group uh, has indeed recently published um, a proposal of uh, reformation of the inheritance tax and, by example, the, the rule by which there is no inheritance tax on lifetime gifts as long as the donor survive for seven years could be abolished. Well, it is good to know for sure because even if an individual is not a missile in UK, he could be liable for capital gain like taxation or UK inheritance tax or assets situated in, in UK or even UK inheritance tax on his worldwide assets if he has been resident in UK for more than 17 out of the last 20 tax years. 
Well, we will follow developments in this area for sure that could occur before to the next budget schedule for March 2021. Yes, and speaking of the UK, which will soon be outside of the EU, I will say a word on Switzerland, which is also a country with a special tax regime, so the lump sum taxation regime. Since a legislative amendment which came into form in 2016 uh, for newcomers, uh, the regime is more expensive and it will also be the, the case as of January 1st, 2021 for those who were already enjoying the regime before 2016. So January 1st, 2021 is the end of the transition period. Yes, and that measure comes after other changes adopted in the last 10 years. Increase of the minimal tax basis, with gym abolish in Zurich, etc. Well, well, thank you so much, Olivier. We, we've had a great discussion today about some interesting points and developments related to special tax regime available for wealthy individuals in those three countries. Thank you very much to you, Luisa. It was a pleasure. Our two firms will, uh, of course, keep a close eye on developments in those areas and are always available to discuss international tax and estate planning measures.